All right, so for everyone who's new here to Acres of Adventure, my name's Tom. I'm Chelsea. There's a lot of people right now trying to get backyard chickens or looking into getting backyard chickens or just got some. So we figured we'd go through Google's most asked questions about backyard chickens. So let's start with number one. Okay, the first question is how many chickens should I keep? And I think this is different for every family, but really it's just important to consider how many eggs you use daily and what is your purpose for your eggs and if you want to sell the eggs. So I would say the general rule probably would be for us, like at least one per person in the family. If you want to have extra for like close family and friends, maybe a couple extra so that, so that way you have some to give out. I would say have as many as you can. <laughs> That's my motto, but but realistically probably like at least one per person, yeah. one per person in the family. But I do think just to make sure with that question is that you should look at your local ordinance because there is limits sometimes of how many chickens you can own. I guess, I guess you, that's true if you're following rules. <laughs> so I guess you should have a different mindset. You should maybe look into it just in case. All right, next question. How many eggs will your chicken lay? First of all, a chicken will lay one egg a day and that's the most that they can lay. I think the process of laying eggs takes about 26 hours for their whole body to go through. So physically really not that possible for them to lay to. A chicken will give you, pro most chickens, I think they say give you about two eggs for every three days but it all depends on the breeds. There's chickens that lay 300 eggs on the year and then there's chickens that lay 150 eggs on the year. So breeds play a big role in how many eggs you're gonna get. Look into the breeds if you're really curious about how many eggs you're gonna get from these chickens for the year. Now this question I think might be the number one asked question about backyard chickens and it's do you need a rooster for your chickens to lay eggs? And Owning chickens now, it seems like very silly and anyone who owns chickens, you hear that question and you don't think anything of it anymore. But I remember before we started having chickens even, this was something that we thought about. It was like, well, like it makes sense. Like in order for you to like, you need a boy and a girl. We won't get too much into that for you guys. But we thought that's possibly what you needed and you do not. You don't need a rooster. Your hens will still lay eggs. It's just their natural body functions to do. But if you want fertilized eggs, ones that could possibly hatch into little chicks and you want that for like self-sustainability, then you would want a rooster for your flock. Other than that, no, you don't need a rooster. Yeah, pretty much that's it. No, no rooster to have eggs. All right, next question. Are backyard chickens noisy, loud? I would say for the most part, no. If you have a rooster though, which you should back to those local ordinance things, a lot of people sometimes they don't allow roosters and that's for that main reason. is because roosters will crow and I know that people think that a rooster crows just in the morning. It is not. It is all day long. So roosters are loud, I would say. But chickens in general, the hens, they're really not that loud. Sometimes they can get loud when you're kind of walking around them and they just make all these different kind of noises. But it's nothing that would be disturbance, I don't feel like, for any neighbors. The hens aren't that loud compared to a rooster's crow. They do sing a song when they lay and that can get kind of loud, but I don't think it's any kind of big disturbance. So I would say that backyard chickens, if you have all hens, are really not that loud. What would you think? Yeah, I would agree with that. I, d I was surprised to hear their song when we first got them and they started laying. That was a surprise to me. Yeah. And that our rooster crowed all throughout the day, starting at like five in the morning. He uh, crows when it's dark <laughs> out, which was a surprise. <laughs> all right, the next question is, what chicken breeds should I get? There are so many different chicken breeds. I'm amazed at how many breeds there are. Uh, and there's so many different types of chickens and their purposes. But our three favorite here are the Buffa Orpingtons, which are a dual purpose bird. So you can use them for uh, laying eggs or meat. And then we also have Rhode Island Reds, which are great consistent layers, no matter what climate you have. They're great in hot climates, cold climates, they're considered a hardy bird. And then we also have our Americanas, which they are pretty unique looking and they lay the colorful eggs. So I feel like those three are a really great combo to have consistent layers and pretty eggs, which is what we like over here. And Americana is my favorite. <laughs> She's just super calm. I think they're a really good calm bird. I think that's in their breed. So if you're looking for a nice friendly breed for if you have kids, Americana. But she has been an escape artist and she hides her eggs sometimes. They're good mamas, I think. She always got to try to rain <laughs> on the parade. Give you the neck, give you the negatives, guys. So just beware, your eggs are gonna be in weird places, maybe. <laughs> Can you raise chickens in a cold climate or like a really cold winter? A lot of people worry because chickens are like, they're not the biggest animals and how their body handles really cold temperatures and they actually do really, really good. And we talked about this with the breeds that there is some hardy breeds that deal with cold weather better 
So if you're in really cold climates, if you wanna to try to stick with those kind of breeds. But we have chickens that, I think they all are a little bit more like that. I think a lot of areas try to sell chickens that deal with the temperature that's around those areas. But chickens internal body temperature is like 105 degrees or something like that. So they do pretty good naturally. They have feathers that protect them and keep them warm. If you have a nice coop that insulated and that the wind's not getting to them, then you should be fine. Um, they don't like stepping in snow really, so during really snowy days, if they don't have another spot to really access, they might stay in their coop more that day. But other than that, they do really good during the winter time. We haven't had any issues now for two winters, so. I would say as long as you let your birds naturally acclimate themselves to the conditions, they will have no problem handling the winter. And we did a video on it about how to handle temperatures and that you don't really need a heat lamp. Some people will supplement a heat lamp, but chickens don't need it. And it's actually dangerous because if you give them it and then that shuts down, then they were so used to that heat that they could go into shock because their body's going to get super cold. So thing to think about for your chickens. The next question is, do you save money raising your own chickens? And unfortunately the answer is probably not. <laughs> mm, not probably not. I don't think you do. It's cheaper if you want to go buy the eggs in the store. So if you're getting into raising chickens just to solely save money, it's probably not the best idea for you because it really doesn't save you money in the long run. You definitely have a better quality of product that you're getting for your money, but you will be spending... What are you doing? You'll. You will be spending more money in the long run. Um, but that is obviously not why we got into this. It was more of a lifestyle choice. We wanted to start the journey of homesteading and being self-sufficient and knowing where our food comes from. So um, we've definitely had a lot of upfront cost. Yeah, I, I think that's what I was about to say about it is that it's all upfront cost and startup cost, buying a coop getting a brooder for your chicks if you're starting them as chicks and just it's a later question that we're going to answer so I'm not going to get too far into it but by the time they lay eggs for you and everything so a lot of money that you put into them before they actually start laying eggs realistically no you don't save money but you do it for the health reasons like we said not for the cost you gotta think of it like an investment next do you need to refrigerate your backyard chicken eggs and I know this is an interesting one. A lot of people have heard about storing eggs just on the counter. And I know that I was really weirded out by it because <laughs> you live your whole life. Uh, you bought your store-bought eggs from a fridge. You put them straight into the fridge. All you know is that. So to have eggs that you store on the shelf, as long as you don't wash them. So the chicken egg, you have the shell that you can see. And then there's an outer layer on the shell that you can't see. It's called the bloom which helps protect that whole shell. And that's why you're able to store them on the shelf or on a counter or anything like that compared to the eggs that you buy at the store because those get washed right away. Because chicken eggs, unfortunately, aren't the prettiest things sometimes because of where they're coming out from. So some of them you might just want to wash, but as long as you don't wash them, then no, you do not have to store these in a fridge. I think that's something that's really cool about backyard eggs. <laughs> I like that. Uh, we built a little <laughs> display here. I'll probably uh, try to put it up on the screen right now as I talk about it that we can kind of display them. So as long as they're not too gross, it is a nice little thing to look at. It's just kind of like a more rewarding feeling for having your chickens just kind of see what they do. All right, our next question is, are brown chicken eggs healthier than white chicken eggs? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I have to admit, this is something that I believed at first, and I definitely fell into that trap, but no, they are not healthier. The color of your chicken eggs are just from your chicken breed. Yep. Did I Which, say that weird? Yes. No, you didn't say it weird. <laughs> I felt like that came out weird. The chicken breed, yep. I think that people assume that just because you only bought is white eggs, so the stores like to start selling the brown eggs as in like they were the healthier eggs, and because they were different, so people just assume they're healthier, but no, it, doesn't matter at all. Yeah, no. Just the color. Don't fall for it like I did. <laughs> but you are going to want chickens that lay different colored eggs because it's cool to see all the different color eggs. That's true. <laughs> but not for health reasons. Next up, so what do backyard chickens eat? Um, so this is, I guess, a good question because if you don't really think about it, uh, but first thing you can do, and this is what we've done for over a year is that there is chicken feed at farm stores and any of those kind of pet stores that have chicken stuff in it. 
<laughs> I don't know how else to word it, farm stores. You can always buy those. But on top of that, chickens eat a lot of different kind of kitchen scraps. There's some things that aren't the best for chickens, and then there's some things that chickens shouldn't eat. But if you throw stuff into, we have a big compost bin that we'll dump all of our kitchen scraps into for the chickens. And chickens know what they should eat and what they shouldn't eat. So they'll eat around anything that's not good for them. They have really good senses that way. There is lots of people who have plenty of experience with this that even if you threw something that's not that good for them in there, if it's not good for them, they stay away from it. So chicken feed, kitchen scraps, and then they eat bugs and worms and all that stuff if you let them free range. Our chickens free range, so they'll eat a whole bunch of those things. They eat meat. They're not, um, a lot of people like to think that only eat like plants and grass and things like that, but they also, they're omnivores, so they'll eat plants and meat. They'll eat, they'd eat mice, which we were shocked to hear that. <laughs> yes, we haven't seen anyone eat mice, but they have eaten toads before. I was just gonna say that, yes. <laughs> I, that was a surprise to me too. And yeah. they will chase each other. When one of them finds something really good in the ground, that one will grab it and then all the other ones notice and they will chase that chicken until they get tired. Yep. Which is pretty funny to watch. Alrighty, so how do you keep your chickens safe? The most important way to keep your chicken safe is a secure coop and run area. So whether that's enclosed or predator proofed, you want to make sure that um, no predators can access your chickens, especially at night because they are very vulnerable at nighttime. The next thing I would say is to have some type of dog on your property or backyard. You, if you have a very large property, a livestock guarding dog would be great for you. But if it's just a smaller one, just really any type of dog, deters raccoons and all that fun stuff that are after your chickens. I think our dogs have done wonders for yeah, our chickens. For sure. We must be doing something kind of right. I'm not gonna brag about it, but we're luckily no chickens have had any kind of casualties. Our dogs are outside a lot though, so I think yeah. that has a lot to do with it, that they just kind of and just a lot of noise. Just so you know, like our chickens our, our chickens, our chickens do live outside, but our <laughs> dogs don't live outside. No. So they'll come inside. So just having the dogs outside and around the area, predators will pick up on scents and things like that. So it's not, don't think you need to have a dog that's outdoors protecting 24 seven either. Yeah, that was one of my fears when we decided not to have just an outside dog. Next up is how long do chickens live? And this was something that I didn't fully know the answer to. So I did some research and started looking up and seeing what was going on with this question. And it seems like not counting predator attacks or humans butchering things that a chicken can live anywhere around eight years as the average for a lot of breeds. And they say some chickens up to 15 years. So that's all another breed dependency kind of thing, eight to 15 years, but your chickens are not gonna lay eggs for that whole entire time. All right, I think this is another question. So let's just pull this one up on the screen here. How long will chickens lay eggs? <laughs> <laughs> the chickens, eggs, they will lay eggs for, uh, depending on breeds again, but I think like four or five years before they really, really take a big decline. But their first decline starts about at two and a half, three years, where their egg production kind of gets cut in half. And then I think after a couple years after that, where you end up almost basically barely getting eggs from those chickens. So then you kind of just keeping them as a pet. And if that's something that you want to do, I'm not telling you don't. For us, we're probably gonna casually always have chickens coming in every few years so that we always have fresh egg producers. Next one is when will your chickens start laying eggs? And I know this is something that we searched over and over again as we were impatiently waiting for our chickens to start laying. The most exciting thing. It's when you get chickens, it is the one thing that you are just waiting for is to get that first egg to just feel like everything that you've done to take care of these guys has been worth it. I feel like it took forever. <laughs> so the answer to that question is between four to eight months. And I know that's a long range. So you have to be patient for that four month range of when you're just kind of waiting for it to happen. But between the ages of four to eight months, chickens will start producing eggs. So be patient. They will come. Don't, Don't <laughs> do it. Is it chickadee? Yes, chickadee. Buff Orpington here. She's a great chicken, but she is a little pecky every once in a while just to say like, hi. Don't. <laughs> so how much room do you need for your chickens? And I'll tell you what, um, I don't really have the best answer for this one right now as I didn't really look into it before doing this video. Sorry. But if I can remember, I don't know if it's four, maybe six square feet of space per chicken. So we, we Googled this one but before. I'm going to pull it up on the screen what the real thing is at the time of doing it. But if you free range your chickens, obviously this isn't as much of a worry. They're gonna have plenty and plenty of space. We have 15 chickens that probably have 
a little less than maybe a quarter of an acre here to roam around, so they definitely have enough room. So free ranging is definitely a good way to kind of avoid this problem. But if you have them in a smaller size coop, um, a lot of those coops when you go to buy them will kind of tell you the range of how many chickens can kind of fit in there safely. So I'd say to go by those. Um, you don't want to push those limits too much because overcrowding of chickens can cause diseases, unhealthy eggs. Don't try to push those limits too much. Our chickens were in a smaller coop at first, but luckily they were so small and by the time they got bigger, we already were starting to free range them. So it wasn't something that we've ever had to worry about, but I would just say that wherever you, if you're buying a coop, go by those dimensions. And if you're looking into building one, just make sure that you're cautious and you just know that the more space, the better. Can you have more than one breed of chicken for your flock? And yes, you definitely can. And that is the fun part because they all have different personalities. They all look different. They all lay different color eggs, the best part. Um, so you, I would definitely say that to choose a variety, if you get unlucky and they only have one breed at the farm store, then I guess maybe start with that and then add some more later is what I would say. But I would say have a big variety of breeds and that way you can see what you like and what produces well for your area and just the fun of learning about chickens. All right guys, thank you guys for listening to us answer these questions. Hopefully it was helpful for you, anyone who's new to backyard chickens or looking into getting chickens for their backyard. The main question is, is it fun and is it easy taking care of chickens? And that answer is yes, you are going to enjoy it a lot. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Have a great day and a better tomorrow. Chelsea's cold, so we gotta get inside. <laughs> See you later.